Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about another event shortcode attribute known as event online. Okay, so this attribute is used to control our event listings over here using whether it's a online or offline event. So whether it's happening in a physical location or not, or whether it's a virtual or online event. Okay. So pretty simple attribute and does a lot of things in the event listing page like lets you customize in a greater extent of course. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste it over here and set it to true as the first value. So it expects like a one boolean value either true or false. So firstly we're going to set it to true and we're going to update our page. Then we're going to reload. So over here you will see now all the events are uh, listed uh, is online event okay so five events they all are online event only okay simple enough so next what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set it to uh, event online as false okay update the page and then i'm gonna reload this page once again okay so let's reload so after reloading you will see this event listing page now shows all the events that's not online so all of these events over here now has a, a venue or like place inside it so not an online event okay i'm gonna open the uh, all event dashboard and i'm gonna show you the all these uh, five events over here does have a location and all the other events we showed uh, those are online event indeed you'll see these are all the online events uh, we showed earlier that if we change this to true it will show up over here but all the other events like those are not online so since we set event online to false those are now being uh, listed over here so that's how simple it is to control your event listing page whether to show or not show only virtual or like online events in the listing page okay so if we remove this attribute from here and update our page then reload this listing page we will see all the events are now being listed over here whether it's an online or offline event so use the event online attribute to control your listings on the event listing page to short from whether it's an online event or not so i hope this video give you a bit of idea about the attribute and if you fail to understand anything let us know in the comment we will be sure to help you out until next time i'm sure saying goodbye thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one